Hey guys, it's GTO Technology, and we had just finished our two main classes. And I can go a little bit slower now because we are done coding, and there's less of the need to finish it relatively fast. So actually, when we look at how much we've gotten done, we have actually gotten 52 plus 27 is, what, 79? So, yeah got that much done that that many lines of coding so good job and now we just need to make our plugin.yml which will have the name description and version of our plugin so in the description of this video you will see a link to pastebin.com click on that and then copy the contents of the pastebin you'll see what I mean when you click on it so copy that and once you copied it go back to Eclipse right click your project in the package explorer go to new file give the file name plugin.yml you'll see it created in your dlogger folder uh, paste in the contents of the plugin.yml change geekplaya to whatever you made your name in the package and make the version number whatever you want uh, say this is my first dlogger plugin in my case and save right click plugin.yml in your package explorer click refresh go to file this is where we're exporting by the way so we are done file export jar file choose dlogger from your project list save it as dlogger.jar in your plugins folder for your server press finish go ahead and launch your server and Without further ado, go to Minecraft, and you can see right here it says DLogger version 1.12 was enabled. Log in. All right. Go to multiplayer. Your server. With an axe in hand, locate a tree. And I'm sorry about this frame rate going on right here. Let's kind of lower it down a little bit. There we go. Not really much better at all. Okay, so if we break the bottom of this tree with our fist, we'll notice that nothing will happen. However, if we go over to a tree right here and we use our axe and we break the bottom of it, yay! And I think that was just a little bit of uh, lag on my server. But just to verify, we'll do it one more time. So we're looking tree. There we go. As you can see, it plays a little smoke effect, and it delogs the tree with the correct type of log. Isn't that cool? So let's break this one. Because we're just run a rampage now. Now we're like, this is so cool. Let's just go ahead and kill every single tree in the world. So just run around, have fun. If I could find a tree which is of a different type, let's go ahead and do this manually. Alright, sir. So oops, that's normal wood. You guys know that you can actually just type the name of the object in a vanilla server rather than the ID, because I did not until recently. It's kind of sad. Alright, go ahead and make your little fake tree. And as you can see, it is a uh, regular tree versus pine. So break that. And there you go. You see the correct types. And let's go ahead and spice it up a little bit. Let's, let's see if it actually works for trees with different types of logs. And it does. Alright, so if this helped, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, and leave comments in the comment section below if you had any issues or if you really liked the tutorial. Again, it means much to me if you guys do subscribe because I'm working towards becoming a YouTube partner. And the reason why I'm not getting YouTube partnership right now is because of my subscriber count. We keep on telling you that. So I need to get that up. So if you guys found this helpful, and if you commonly come by here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It means a lot to me. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.